can't see intro music. Yeah! Woohoo! Hey everybody, it's time to do a little bit of an update to something that many players might not know exists in the game. And that's a couple of officers that can help you really punch up on certain hostiles. And one of the most common applications of that now for players in the 40s up, but we will also cover a crew variation for those below the 40s, is for taking on the aquatic cruisers, these big ones, using your NX-01. It says a lot of players are now in the free-to-play range of unlocking their NX-01. Seems worth talking about so that you can hit one of these that is well above maybe your level range and still come out with a little bit of a W. Now that one ended up losing because the big gun happens and you can't help RNG. So that's why we made sure to do one before. So what ended up happening on the previous token is this right here. We essentially filled up our cargo bay, 2 million of the tech modules, 12 and a half K of the Zindi scraps, and I was able to take down this big behemoth using the crew above. Now there are a couple variations of this, and I wanna take the time to explain how and why it works. So before we do that though, I'm actually gonna speed this up. I'm gonna send it back out, and then we're gonna talk about how to actually source these officers, because I think that's a big thing for a lot of players. I'm going to be very upfront. You can free to play unlock all the officers that I will show you in this video. However, it's not super easy because one of them is locked behind one of the arguably worst chests in the game. So you would simply, you know, be going Federation base and you would want to get the elite Federation recruits. Now, I have always said and still maintain that this is one of the worst trade-ins and turn-ins in the game value-wise. But the goal is to unlock Leslie. So I want to start with him. Unlocking Leslie, who's the hardest of this punching up and, and taking advantage crew, etc., Hardest to get because he is locked in here. Now, the good news, I guess, is it's a limited pull, but you would need to pull here, and this is the guy you're looking for. Leslie, right here. His ability as a captain, 5% restore to the hole when it is under 35% at the end of each round. This goes up with synergy, hence why you saw Moreau, and then it also is an XP booster, which is useful if you're grinding XP, but not for the really the application that we're going to talk about here today. So if we come in, you will back out, go to the battle log, and you'll see... Now, the one that I did win, I'm actually, did I send it? I did not. We'll go ahead and send it back because I've got the tokens. But the log that I did win, you will simply see it goes a long time. 100 rounds, which is actually the point of me bringing burning to make sure that I win here. So it all comes down to how some of these things work. He's going to restore your hole to make sure that you never lose it, which as you can see right here. It continually restores. Now, my ship is going to blow up after the fact, no matter what. The reason being is, he is artificially repairing the hole. So let's just say you have 100% hole. So you've got, this is your hole. This is it, it's 100%. But he's gonna add another bit. Well, this is now 200% total. But let's say we took 150% in damage. Well, after the battle, that false stuff gets removed. So you're only left with this. So 100 minus 150% is, well, less than zero. So you end up blowing up no matter what, but you still get the victory so that you can Enjoy the rewards. Now, you can run this in a different way. I have Giorgio here. Usually players have Nero, which is an even easier and earlier officer to source to put in this slot for say using it for these aquatics here. And you've probably heard us refer to this on Twitch or in a live stream as the Cheese It crew because we've used Leslie in some iteration for several years now to punch up on higher level hostiles because he keeps your ship alive. And then you combine that with any type of damage creation to destroy the enemy. So I did this without having Hugh below decks, without having Bellana Torres. I wanted to do this as kind of as naked as possible so it could apply to as many people as possible. Now, just as critical is Moreau. I don't want to forget about her because she is adding synergy. So you see right now he's doing 10% instead of just 5% restore every round. And Moreau is still helping me get that mitigation factor. Depending on what level of hostile I'm getting, it, it might not get that at all, but you're still getting synergy sourcing of Moreau has become quite easy in today's game because she is sourced through field training which you can do at the earlier portion of the game as well as you can find her in the normal recruit packs below level 30 in fact one of the things we talk about for players out there in the game is to unlock pike Moreau chin before level 30 there was actually a level 19 player that reached out to me about two weeks ago who was actually getting transporter patterns at level 19 because they had unlocked so many of the officers and taken their time to work through those action progressions and again this is all based on what you can perform at almost any level now you can make slight variations to this to make it more applicable to say different uses 
for example you could even run it with full synergy but it was used back in the day before everybody's enterprise became super strong as you can see my max enterprise is now at 19 million that was an unheard of number several years ago not to put my old man hat on but truly that was an absolutely obscene this was impossible you were never getting an enterprise that big and now it's semi-common and y'all can be jealous of my enterprise d damage model skin that came out like three years ago during the tng arc but this is definitely something that you've seen progress now with this you would simply keep leslie moreau and instead swap in the kelvin timeline kirk who would give you that constant shield regeneration now the more you can put below decks like the new chapel officer for her isolytic damage we'll sort by group and talk about her so we'll scroll down real quick find our strange new world set which i feel like i'm going in the wrong direction because there's so many different officer sets here we go so you have her below deck ability which is increasing your isolytic which would help in these cases because you do still want to create damage there you go you just want to get the win really and that's going to help you do that you obviously who we talk about all the time being arguably the most important below deck officer and most important pve officer in the game helping you with your criticals and wrong one helping with your critical chance which is going to by nature increase your other damage types so value to be had across the board but the real key is the crew that you have right here which is leslie is captain Moreau and Nero, or in my case, I have Giorgio only because Nero is on an away team and I didn't feel like speeding him up. Truly, that's the only logic. So if you're sitting there saying, hey, I don't have Giorgio, don't worry. You don't need her. You can use Nero and he's quicker to tear up anyway. Most of you will have tiered him up before you have unlocked Giorgio. Even if he's only tier two or tier three, you'll have him available. So the good thing about this crew is that it allows you to hit bigger hostiles by the way it works, giving you a lot more survivability even though it only works one time like you're not going to grind 100 hostiles at a time with this because you will go splat but if you can punch much higher thus allowing you to get greater rewards fill your cargo bay this is going to make some of those grinds easier where we talk about and joke about the the quote unquote five minute grinds well this turns it into essentially a five second grind you go in there you pick your hostile and i'm using aquatics as an example because they're a recent example but you can use this methodology with other hostiles around the game as we have for years but again, I wanted to either one remind or two inform those who didn't know because it's been a while since we made one of these types of videos. So you're going to see no matter what, we're going to go pop there. But then we go into our log. There's the W. And as long as that round one weapon five gun doesn't launch, you'll see I'm coming in with an amazing amount of loot that helps me, well, rack up a lot of points. And now I don't have to worry about that grind as much. Now, I do want to show you that other crew, give you a visual of what I talked about as an example for an enterprise. But the basics of how this works is more about the abilities of the officers. So don't get so pigeonholed of like, oh, it's for an NX-01 or oh, it's for an enterprise. You can use this in other formats. But these are two of the easiest ways to show you. So let's go ahead and speed that up real quick. And we're going to swap this out, get our enterprise back up here. Remember, this is the level 34 epic enterprise. Then we'll go to our officer assigned. We'll sort by defense. And I do believe he is free. There we go. So in this case, we could do something like this, where I would activate morale. So now the enterprise, that level 34 one, its ship ability is going to maintain shields and maintain hold. But you don't necessarily have to do that. It's simply an option. You can put another damage creator there or leave burning. The purpose of having burning there is so that we can get that background ability. For those that don't know, burning does a 1% hull damage background effect so even though it has a you know visible this is how burning works with the different officers all of the abilities morale burning hull breach assimilate have background effects burning's background effects is it does a one percent damage to the whole health of the enemy's ship each round and then that just continually persists now that's one percent at the end of that round so it's not going to be 100 rounds and you just automatically kill a level 90 player but you can still use these type of moves to win as you can see in this video against some higher level hostiles thus making things a little bit easier for you the only tricky part is getting leslie which every now and then they'll sell a pack which again not saying you have to buy a pack or you can go through this which is a slog of a method but thankfully because he's an uncommon he doesn't take that many shards to unlock so you're not having to spend as many faction credits as you would for say getting kirk up he's an uncommon so easier to acquire but more importantly easier to unlock because uncommons even though they don't really appear in the game anymore this is an officer from the very beginning i know shocker but leslie's been around a long time with this type of use but 
didn't have sourcing for the longest time. Leslie actually just now started recently getting sourcing. But to unlock tier one, this guy is 14 shards. And his captain's ability is what you want. You're not really worried about the officer ability, even though it can have value. You just need to get 14 shards of Leslie. Then you don't have to dump into this anymore. And then you can use your Moreau other applications. But let me know what you think in the comment section about this video. Is this going to help you lessen some of your grinds? Are you going to find any application for it? And if you like it, make sure you like the video. That's how you help out me and everybody else who's a content creator. Live long and plunder. Stay safe with our Space Cowboys. Deuces, that's me. Enjoy your new cheese at crew. And for those that didn't know about it, now you know. For those who did, here's your reminder, and hopefully you enjoyed it. See ya. An even better outro than the intro. For the empire and glory to your house.